two of them had been broadcast. So um, they had some success with that. And the students did all the recording for homework. So they didn't spend class time having to call in or um, record on a computer microphone. They could do it all um, in the comfort of their own home. Um, here's another example, once again, of just some phone calling activities with the cell phone. Um, you can do live radio broadcasts um, through your cell phone. This is a resource called blogtalkradio.com. It's free. Um, there are advertisements on it, unless you do the premium version. Um, but I have, I have my own live radio um, feed through Blog Talk Radio. Many of my students do it as well. This is an example of a high school in Maine. We have Lobster Talk. It's kind of their weekly um, uh, radio uh, broadcast now as a podcast and oh thank you Lucretia yes so um, I really do do these um, live radio broadcasts and they are um, all done really you can do it through the cell phone so um, uh, if you don't have internet access you can still call in you can participate through the call in you can set it up through your cell phone um, and you can do it from the comfort of your own home so again students who might not have the internet access they can still do it through their cell phone which is really nice.
recheck means yes, I have a Google Voice account read. Um, X means no, don't have it. Okay, so we have some. I'm guessing you might be language teachers in some way if you have a Google Voice account. Okay, there's some. Yes, some, no. More yeses. Okay. <laughs> So I recommend using Google Voice as a great place to do oral um, language quizzes, test activities, um, debates, discussions, because it's much more private um, than Jotio in many ways. So um, if you don't have a Google Voice account, log into Google Voice and um, get an account because you can do such a great variety of things. You get, um, as many of you um, know, kind of a, a phone or a fake phone number that's a local area code, and you can associate it with any of your phones. I have mine going directly to voicemail, so I never hear my phone ring. But what I do have is I have unique greetings for different groups of my students. So I um, students from uh, my uh, Ed 490 class call, they receive a greeting about Ed 490 um, uh, in assignment for them. When my students from 504 calls, they receive a unique greeting about 504. Um, and if I uh, want all my students to do kind of, kind of you know, oral quiz or oral activities, I can actually shoot them out a text message um, and let them know that the quiz is up and it's ready to go and so they need to call in to the Google Voice number. So you can give out these great new greetings so students call in um, into Google Voice, then you actually get the um, uh, each of the text transcript in Google Voice. Um, it doesn't do foreign languages yet, but it is supposed to, so that is coming. And so you get the MP3 file in your Google Voice account, you get